I'm fly fishing for trout this week on the Bitterroot River, which is full of cutthroat, rainbows, and browns. This bank can be good, but it's sunny, so let's just kind of keep motoring through. Okay. Keep fishing, though. You really can't beat the scenery. It's gorgeous. And it seems like we're seeing wildlife around every bend. You got a whitetail over there. Hi, buddy. Hi, little guy. <gasps> oh, there's a couple. Hey, guys. So, while you're changing your fly, yeah. how much do you guide here in Montana? I've been guiding for about 15 years, and I guide here from March through about the end of October into November. You mm -hmm. have kind of an interesting story. And what's that? Well, you know, what you used to do before guiding was uh -huh. pretty different than what guiding is. It was a slight change from this. So tell us about it. So I, uh, I worked on Wall Street. I got a degree in economics and then started working in New York um, right after that. And I worked there for 15 years. I was a uh, currency trader. I worked in investment banking for 15 years, of which everybody says, wow, that's such a drastic change. But I've fished since I was a little kid, and I always loved fishing, and especially trout fishing and fly fishing. And I always had this dream of moving to Montana and living out in the West and making a living. I made the move in 1999 and started my business, and I never looked back. And it's been, Are there some things that you learned on Wall Street that you apply today on the river? You're only as good as your last trade or your last fish. <laughs> That's a good one. The best trades <laughs> happen at the bar, as, <laughs> as do the best fish and biggest fish are caught at the bar. <laughs> How would you compare the stress levels between what you used to do on Wall Street versus what you do now? They don't compare at all. <laughs> and I get a little stressed, I just stop think and I look around really and are. think of where I am and it's like, I could be working in an office. That's right. So that's it, what I do with my it's job just too. a fish. We're just catching fish. It's, that's true. It's a wonderful, that is wonderful true. job. Okay, Mariko. So I changed up here. I put on a uh, purple haze, mm, which I like, the, like the Jimi Hendrix song. Yep. It's a local favorite here. And really all it is is it, it's a parachute Adams with a purple body. Now this particular stretch of the river, not so pretty. The rusty cars used to be covered up with gravel to protect against shore erosion. So the gravel's gone, but the shore is intact ugly, but the fish love it. There's some holes in here and you may find some fish. Okay, Mariko, get one off this next car. Nice. Sounds so funny. That. Whoa. Over caddis bouncing on the surface there. Set. <gasps> oh, he didn't eat it. No. He refused there it. Was there is definitely. Oh, oh, he didn't no. eat it that time either. No. Third time's a charm. There. Ah, I told you. <laughs> Third time. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Is it a good, I think it might be a good one. It's a bad yeah, one. that was so weak. Okay, pull it around this uh, cement here, Mariko. I played you, nice little job. fish. Nice uh job. -oh. Yep. Stay here. Did we call that or what? Watch we out here. We played that a little guy. Bump. Oh no, where is he going? You're good. Keep him out from under the boat. Oh crap. Keep him out from under the boat. Oh my goodness. You're good. Make sure you don't fall out on me. Came up to it three oh, times my goodness. before he ate it. That'll Beauty. get bigger. Nice color on him. That was fun. Good work. That cool. was cool how he took a couple of runs at it, you know? So that okay. one, he looks pretty. Oh, wow. Wow. He's almost pure <gasps> rainbow, but he's got some little right cuts. There. Yep. Oh, that was awesome fish. Look at that awesome color. I know, he's like got leopard Sweet. spots on him. My hand's wet. Okay. And then I'm going to release him, okay? Yep. Look at him, he's so beautiful. Okay, try to get that fly right on that slick again. It's gonna be hard to see because we have a flat light. Mend it. As much as I love the action on the river, I'm gonna sample the view on land. Well, actually six feet off the ground. Mariko, welcome to JM Bar Outfitters. Let's get these horses ready. Yeah! Got it. Besides fishing and kayaking, horseback riding is one of the most popular activities in Montana. And it's a good break from the river. Whoa. My Wrangler Jeff has my horse saddled. His name is Cody. You want him to turn left, mm -hmm. right, whoa, Cody, a oh, whoa, and then you can let up. Yeah, it's great. You know, I can handle left and right a lot better than the Eskimo roll I had to do on the kayak with the other Cody. Let's hope this Cody doesn't decide to roll. Hey there, buddy. And a nice ride today, right? We're heading into the Aspens for a scenic ride. Oh boy, Cody. He used to run my whole herd. He was the boss. How old is he? 
Cody's probably about uh, 28. Really? Yeah. We're like almost the same age, Cody. Come here, Cody, this way. Apparently 28 makes Cody an old man, but he's still kicking. That is just gorgeous there, man. This is what I call a beauty shot. This is like a promo shot for Montana. When you're so close to the wilderness, you can see why Montana is called Big Sky Country. They say you can hike for days on Montana's trails and not see another person. And with more than 31 million square miles of protected land, it's likely to stay that way. And now, you dunk, yeah. you'll get a treat. Oh yeah, here what, hold on. Okay, do you like that? You're such a good boy, Cody. Thanks for taking him on such a nice walk. Back on the Bitterroot River, the sun is setting, but the fish are still rising. Oh, there was a fish right by my flat. Was there? Mm -hmm. Did he rise? It was small, but. Actually, fish along this right bank, this whole thing, Mariko. We got good light at our back. We'll be able to see that fly. You get a long line out and fish close to those roots. Okay, Mariko, right off of that log, mend it, and then from there down is good water. There, that's a good Woo. fish. Woo. Okay. Okay, come here, the buddy. Big fish, Mariko. How's your drag nice. set? Good job. Now you got them on the reel. Perfect. Another nice one. Eddie O. What a river. Whoa, nice job. Whoa, it's running. Nice. Look at the light in the that's sky. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Let him run if he wants moment. to go. Can you get no, him to the look. surface? Okay, I mean, get, I can him drag him get his yeah. head up to the surface. Yeah. It's a big cut bow. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we got him. Nice, Mariko. Oh my God, what that's What a great. river, Eddie That's your big one of the day. Can you just appreciate the sky? I know this is a weird moment to appreciate it, but look at it right now. The neat thing is, if you look at the sky and look at the fish, that's it's the same I'm color. That's all I'm saying, that's yeah. all I'm saying. It's like these colors are unreal. Mm -hmm. Oh Get wow, him back he's in the water nice for a size. second. Oh, he's a beautiful size. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. I'm having a hard time getting your face in the light. Oh, nice. I took about 15, okay? Okay, here we go. Bye, buddy. Well, it's good that we stayed out late because that bright sun really put the fish down today. And I knew right. once we got some lower light conditions that the mayflies would start coming off and the fish would start popping. It was a really great day. I really liked that. It was awesome. And I think I did learn a lot about my casting. Bitterroot, man, it's where it's at. Absolutely. Absolutely.